Hi, in this video we are going to have a look at the nobles or family members in Kingdom Maker. This is, uh, yeah, this is really what makes it stand out compared to uh, other similar games in my eyes. And it is uh, quite elaborate, so in this video we are, uh, yeah, I'm going to limit myself to just the, the basics. Uh, well, the first thing we, we see with uh, family members is that yeah, you can grow your family further. By the way, nobles and family members, terms I both use and are both used in the game as well. Uh, sorry, let's see. Mm, I have to just give me a second. Okay, they're both at home. So you start with a couple, husband and wife. I'm just going to uh, add these. To the same room makes it a, a bit easier. Okay. You can interact with each other. Greeting is normally the start of interaction. And with this husband and wife, you can try to make a baby. There's no guarantee. Um, once you've done this, there's a certain cooldown. So if you don't su succeed, you cannot try again, again, again. But uh, yeah, in my eyes, normally there is no. Uh, yeah, there is no issue. Um, what I should say is there. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's no new baby. We already had one. Um, it is uh, take more time to actually increase your family size, increase the the roles that are necessary than um, uh, creating the new baby. So, if it doesn't uh, succeed no uh, no issue just try again later uh, once you have a baby and we still have one it takes some time for the baby to mature and in this time you uh, yeah, you have the possibility to already investigate a bit what is going on first you should select one of the available roles and you can see here that i actually uh, oh i say i'm already full but that's not true i can select I thought I had. Oh, okay. I already see what uh, what happened. I accepted a marriage and now have an extra explorer and a merchant slot available. So if you select the role, you get certain traits, and you can decide to re-roll them. I don't have a yeah, very good idea yet. You have a few re-rolls to get another trait. I don't really know what to do and what is uh, good. Charm success seems like a nice one. Trading speed. Maybe I re-roll this one. Sabotage success. Well, let's keep that uh, trait. Anyway, I think because I have the problem that I actually have too many uh, family members at the moment that I cannot mature yet. So that means either increase the family uh, size and I can only do that I think if I have an, uh, a larger, uh, if I upgrade my um, my keep further anyway uh, normally if you have if you don't have your family full already you can just select one of the roles uh, re-roll if you want and then after a while the baby is ready to mature and you can choose to mature and then you have a new member in your family and this way you can grow it and it's growing quite fast so there are also ways to um, marry to uh, members of other families I actually did that with uh, this uh, Kirsten that I married into the family to Dash um, that uh, yeah falls a bit outside of the scope there are many more things to do that I will not 
yeah, will not deal with in this video. It is not a requirement, but it does uh, it does help. It it gives you more flexibility uh, if you have more married couples uh, to uh, create uh, babies. Okay, um, what did I want to show you is the research first. Because I mentioned a few times with roles and capacity. So in the, the research, you, there is a whole, uh, nobles has a whole category. And there you can yeah, do a lot of research. So for example, but I now can have one night, I can increase that to two nights, but that, uh, yeah, for that I need to have academy 15. So that is still a while to go. And the family size can be increased. I'm not yet completely sure how that is related to the um, to the roles increase. Uh, we have certain talent bonuses if you try to do a heist or an evict or a bri bribe. There you can increase the chance of success. And there are more roles you can open as well. So the uh, Collier role is something that can be opened once you have Academy uh, 11 and the talent bonus effect level 2. So that's something I'm working towards. And there are more and more family size, more roles. But uh, yeah, for the next couple of roles, we already look at, uh, oh no, also only Academy level 11. So it's quite important that I get that and continue. I would think that was more uh, here that makes a jump to academy level 16. So this is uh, all research is important, but this is quite an important one as it directly influences your family and your nobles. So what to do with the nobles going back to the keep. So the first thing you can do is uh, well, look at these rooms. I already did it actually. So you look at the room and you say, okay, this is for construction speed and we can increase the construction speed by placing somebody in this room. For example, this one and let's put her husband in there as well. So we have both of them in this room and then we have a 4% construction increase. I also placed Dora here and uh, she's in a guard function. So in theory, others can come in and try to sabotage the room or do other um, annoying stuff. And uh, having a guard in a room has a chance of preventing that. Although I have a level one guard, so probably not very useful, but, uh, but still, that is a, a chance. So this way you have a number of rooms and the, uh, yeah, they can, uh, you open up more rooms as your, you increase your keep. And in some of those rooms, you can place uh, you can place members to. I'm just wondering. You can place members in yeah, the library. Okay, I have two in the library. That is important. In the library, we get the research speed and construction and research speed I find quite important, more important than, um, for example, the healing speed in my eyes. Um, okay, so that is something you can do. The other thing you can do with your nobles is to lead an army. Actually, I have only two armies. I can specify another one that also increases with your, uh, if you update your keep further, you can have more armies. So you can have a noble, preferably I think you choose a captain or a knight uh, to lead your armies. And then, yeah, based on that, you can add different, ar different troops to the armies and add some champions as well once those slots are unlocked. And those, yeah, those nobles lead your army so you can use that for attacking both the camps but also other players <clears throat> what we can also do with nobles is explore dungeons exploring dungeons is just a way to get some uh, 
free rewards, it has a cooldown, so it takes quite some time before you can do it again. My picture is a bit in the way, so we can choose explore, but actually all my uh, nobles are still in a cooldown because I've already done a dungeon uh, explore with them. But do that whenever you get a chance and do it uh, for free so that you just get some uh, some nice goodies for free. There is a trading post I think in each each of the counties. I'm a bit uh, here. Here you can summon one of your, uh, I'm not going to do that now, but you can summon one of your, uh, well, let's just do it. You can summon one of your nobles and also more, you can also summon more nobles. They will go to this uh, trading post. This trading post is in the same county, so that is very nearby. And once they are there, you have the possibility to do a trade. You can select, so you can have more than one noble here, so select the noble you want to trade, and you trade silver for lumber. So it costs us some silver, and we get lumber and some XP. And you click uh, confirm, I'm... Mm, Actually, I have a lot. Uh, I'm not going to do that at the moment. But okay, that is another possibility what you can do. Uh, sometimes you might get lost uh, or might not know anymore where are my nobles. You can also always go to the overview and click, for example, here. Oh, idle in the trading post. So you can recall, send home, or click on here, and then you uh, you focus on that uh, noble. So a noble, maybe we already saw it in one of the screens, but a noble, uh, let's go back to the city. Just wait a second. A noble has certain tiers and talents. So we see here four different tiers. Tier one unlocked or completed already, I should say. Tier two is unlocked. Tier three and tier four are still locked. And each has five uh, talents that you can uh, unlock. Once you have unlocked all five talents, the next tier opens up. These talents give some uh, boosts directly, and they can, yeah, they can be all kind of different boosts. For example, here is one that increases the extra. You do extra damage against orc camps and armies. And what is this? This noble gains a bonus to their capture attempt. So, if you do a capture attempt with this noble, it is more likely to succeed than without this talent. Besides these direct benefits, um, you also increase the maximum XP level that you can upgrade your noble to, so that is also a nice uh, extra. To, um, to do this, you need combat merits. It says here you get them in the dungeons. That's actually not the case. You can also see that when you go to a dungeon, uh, it's not one of the possible rewards. You get them when you attack uh, camps. Let's see. So actually, in general, you can just see when you are clicking on something, then you see the possible rewards. And here there are two, or not possible, the rewards. You get always two combat merits, at least. That's the case uh, for me. So that's... Um, yeah, that's a, a very good reason to keep hitting those uh, camps because, um, yeah, up unlocking all those talents and with that going to the next tier, being able to 
uh, um, to increase the XP level as well, it's all very important. Let's recall this. Um, okay, the XP level, I've already currently uh, maxed this one at uh, 20 because I've unlocked tier two. So that means unlocked level 20. Um, so I need to have quite some talents before I can go to 30. You have two different type of XP. So there's an XP, noble XP specific for that noble. And you have family XP that you can assign to any noble. Uh, I suggest uh, the ones, the nobles you play most actively with, you just use the noble XP and the family XP you can use for nobles you don't play so actively with. Because if you do actions with that noble, you get uh, XP specific for that noble. So the, uh, the nobles you play most with uh, definitely are easiest to get the XP um, for you. Okay. So for example, your commanders and there are, well, and, and there are all kind of different ways to get this XP. So, so far, it seems at least the level I'm at, I expect that for level 30, level 40, it might be a bit more difficult, but so far it seems the these combat merits seem a far bigger deal than the the nobles, uh, sorry, than the XP, the noble XP, family XP. Okay, um, finally, uh, what I want to mention in this beginner's guide on nobles is the sacrificing of nobles. If you look at the overview, you actually see that all of them have quality normal. I also had a couple of um, nobles that were of the runt quality and I basically I didn't need them anymore I didn't want them anymore I didn't spend I want, didn't want to spend any in-game uh, resources on upgrading them so I wanted to get rid of them and the way to get rid of them one way to get rid of them a very good way to get rid of them I think is to go to the volcano and yet that one is here you can find it on the state map and if you click on it you will load up the volcano and then you can click on the volcano and then you can select one of the um, one of your nobles to sacrifice. Currently I don't want to sacrifice any one, so I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to go click back. But if you do that, please realize this is irreversible. Okay, uh, well, that was it for the beginner's guide. I hope this gives you an idea of all the, the basics. Uh, there's a lot more to do with nobles, especially when it comes to the individual actions that you can do, like uh, the marriage proposals, the uh, well bribing, uh, sabotage, and whatnot. This, this is something I will deal with in another video later on. For now, I limit me limit myself to these basics. If you have any comments or any questions, that is always much appreciated. And thanks for watching this video.